Get okay, YouTube fam. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking this review out with me. Y'all already know it's a one six scale figure of Hitman, the man. I remember my first time experiencing Hitman was with Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. It takes me back to some childhood memories, playing with my brothers and blasting these people out and having them fly around looking crazy. Now this figure is by Master Team, the same company that did the Laura Crawl. They are a third party company. This isn't a licensed figure, but I had to get it because the likeness was really good on this figure. Dope, man. And it's Hitman. We have yet to have a really good Hitman figure. So with this one, I was hoping maybe this is it. So if you guys stick around, we're going to figure that out together. Other than that, I am excited for this. Let's get into it and let's see if this figure is worth it. So starting off with his head scope, we can see that this thing is a beauty. We got to admit that. You can see some of the creases on his forehead and in between his eyebrows there. You see the structure of his nose. It looks really good with some lines on the cheek. You can see some depths here making the cheekbones stick out. And you can see some more depths there around his temporal. His mouth is painted good. His skin is painted good. His eyes. His eyes got that gloss to him. Probably a little too much gloss, but his eyebrows are sculpted and painted pretty good. Lip area, all of the details is really good, man. See on the back, he has his print. Now in the new Hitman game, games it does not have his numbers but here he does have the numbers which i cannot define but i do see a 47 at the end nice sculpted ears you see the shadow from when he shaves it's the same color as his head which they did really good with the paint transitioning now the suit i think it's a little too big for him but the pocket here in the front you could stick stuff in there if you want now the bottom one though you can't and it does have this little tape thing to it similar to here in the car as we can see it's taped down now here's the back of it this flap and also the flaps on the side this is what it looks like on the inside this is somewhat the same material as the uh as the tie and it is a little silky feeling for the tie the tie was a little bit whack it isn't red all around it has that black part which is stretchy and it didn't have no posability options or anything like that so i went ahead and i customized it a little bit i put a little twist tie to help for dynamic poses and giving it more posability not the best i know but i try i try for his shirt underneath it is plain white and it's a pretty cool material it is a little see-through he does have some buttons it is removable this has these velcro to him and the white shirt is a long sleeve so it does go to his wrist the gloves are nicely sculpted you can feel them here in the opening area if i'm not mistaken this is from hitman 2 from 2018 so that's why he has these gloves instead of the all black ones the belt buckle is made out of a hard plastic material and they did really good painting it the belt is that same material that we've seen on laura croft for her holster and the belt is removable his pants look Looks really good and pressed and ironed properly his pockets are also functional the way that his blazers pockets are as well as his back pockets he has his socks which Laura was missing as you can see they do move up and good thing is that he has that little black cushion there as you can see for it to move around and still look like his uniform for his shoes they are not shiny however they are very detailed as you can see here they are nicely sculpted however it would have been better with something that would differentiate them from the actual shoe that's how the bottom of the shoe look which looks really cool looks really good dope details Starting the accessories off, we're going to take a look at the briefcase. It is plain black. It does have these little silver buttons and these silver hinges. Cool details in the front as well. And it just opens up, but it isn't hollow enough to fit items in there. 
although it would have been cool next up is his pistol but it's not the silver baller bummer so you can see the clip removes and you can place it right back you can see the bullet there at the tip this part does not move on mine it does not move the paint job is just straight black with some silver parts to it now if you see some weathering on it it's because i i added it but yeah they dropped the ball on that so you see it does comes with the silencer which i guess it is a plus so i give them that but it's just plain old black now looking at this ammo clip, which again, it was all black and I kind of touched it up a little bit. You can see the bullet there. This ammo clip does belong to the sniper, which he does comes with the sniper. You can see it is initially all black. It does have some detail in it, but it's all black. I just touched it up a little bit with some silver. Once you put the ammo clip, you can see the ammo through this little area and it does come with the reloading part and it does come with the barrel here, as you can see. Here's the scope, which is nicely done. And it comes with this part, which honestly, I don't know what this part is, but you can see it has some more buttons there. With this little thing that moves, red lens. I don't know what the what these equipment parts are, but this is what it looks like all together. He does comes with swappable options for the barrel, and this is what it looks like. This part of the rifle folds in. This part of the gun does move. This part right here, and I think that this is where you would put like a rope at. Finally, it comes with this part, which on mine, it broke. However, this part does come out. They have these springs, and that's what it looks like all together. Next is his binoculars. Has some nice scope to it. All black, no weathering, once again. However, here we can see some words. On, the, on one of them, it says mode. The other one says action. And then the name of the company that made these binoculars. Again. Next is his little phone. It's all black. No weathering, has some buttons, and has a little cool looking screen there with some numbers. The following accessory is his fiber wire. The ends are just straight up black with a stretchy string, which is straight to the point. Next is these bullets, which are three little loose bullets that belong to the sniper. And then he does come with additional wrist pegs which is a nice little touch. That wraps up this review. Plain and simple, straight to the point. It's just a dude in a suit and tie going around, fulfilling some contracts to kill some people. Now, the figure did lack. Accessories were lacking tremendously. Um, he does not come with his silver ballers. The gun did not have his hitman symbol. No weathering whatsoever on neither of his weapons or anything. His blazer is too big for him. And the material that they use for his suit does attract a lot of fuzzballs. Also, his ankles are weak. He'll tend to like fall forward and his wrist joints are somewhat limited. You cannot pose him properly whenever he's holding his sniper without his wrist falling, which is some of the issues that Laura Croft also have. Other than that, I did enjoy the figure and I do like him, although he does fall a little bit shorter compared to the other 1-6 scale. But he is the 1-6 scale hitman that we have for now. So thank you once again for stopping by and chilling with me as I went over this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on him if you do have him. Please make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this. Hit that like button and make sure to follow me on social media if you haven't yet. And thank you. Thank you once again. Hope you enjoyed these pictures. Y'all be blessed. Choose this path because I can. There will always be people like them. So there will always be people like us.